India, a land of innovation and technology, has witnessed a remarkable journey in the field of software development and IT services. And this transformational journey has been possible because of one organization known as Software Technology Parks of India, established on 5th June 1991 by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. After merging three STPs, STPI has been instrumental in facilitating software exports and driving the growth of the Indian IT or ITES industry to newer heights. It provides a conducive ecosystem for software companies, startups and entrepreneurs, enabling them to thrive in a highly competitive global market. STPI provides statutory services, data comm services, incubation services, centers of entrepreneurship, next generation incubation scheme, BPO schemes, VAPT, to IT or ITES companies, startups, government and academic institutions. Over the last three decades, STPI has been providing single window clearance services to the software exporters, which has catalyzed the growth of software exports from the country. Due to the right policy measures and liberal style of functioning, software exports from STPI registered companies marked an exponential growth from 52 crore rupees in 1991 to over 7 lakh crore rupees in 2023. Likewise, from three STPI centers in 90s to 63 centers today, STPI has created 13.5 lakh square feet state-of-the-art infrastructure across country, out of which 8.1 lakh square feet is in Tier 2 and 3 cities, with five Tier 3 compliant data centers. STPI is implementing METIS schemes such as BPO Promotion Scheme and Electronics Manufacturing Cluster 2.0 Scheme. BPO Promotion Scheme was implemented to create employment opportunities for youth in Tier 2 and 3 cities. 246 BPO units have so far provided direct employment opportunity to 52,278 youths. EMC 2.0 Scheme for building a comprehensive ecosystem for electronic system design and manufacturing. Under this scheme, five projects have been approved with an investment of 20,819 crore rupees and likely to generate over 66,000 job opportunities for the youth. With the support of STPI, the Indian IT or ITES industry has provided excellent and cost-effective services to the international clients. This has enabled India to become the preferred IT destination in the world. This sector is one of the largest contributors to India's GDP, foreign exchange earnings and generation of significant employment opportunities to the youth. As the Indian IT or ITES industry has matured enough to move up the value chain, STPI has taken the lead in nurturing the startup ecosystem Pan India as envisioned under the Digital India Initiative and National Policy on Software Products 2019. STPI has envisioned establishing 25 centers of entrepreneurship, out of which 22 centers of entrepreneurship have been established in the domains like Internet of Things, Blockchain, Fintech, Artificial Intelligence, Gaming and Animation, among others. The objective is to nurture around 2,000 startups to bring innovation-driven emerging tech startups ecosystem in collaborative manner Pan India. Today, 398 startups are leveraging the lab and infrastructure facilities of state-of-the-art centers of entrepreneurship and developed 480 products and filed 249 IPRs. To support startups Pan India, Next Generation Incubation Scheme has been implemented from 12 Tier 2 locations. Under this scheme, seed funding of up to 25 lakh rupees is provided to each beneficiary or supported startup based on the innovativeness of the idea, the novelty of solutions and strength of the team. The scheme has so far funded 82 startups 
and supported total of 352 startups who have developed 531 products and filed 194 patents. These initiatives and efforts will transform our country into a software product nation and will help in economic growth and create ample opportunities for the youth. STPI is poised to catalyze the ecosystem in the decade of opportunities. The story of STPI is a testament to the power of vision, perseverance and technological excellence. Together, we shall continue to shape India's tech future.